right, well, we're, uh, we're past Wolf, Wolf's Cafe now, if I can talk. And uh, about a mile or two from the, uh, the crest up there, up the uh, Pine Mountain. There's a lot of those around, but this is one of them. It's, uh, its elevation is about uh, a little over 5,000 feet. Still awfully nice uh, for being up in the mountains. Uh, 64.2 degrees. That's not too shabby. Still trying to sort out what size windshield I should get. This one is just a little short. That wind noise, that buffering. Now I'm going to get down a little bit. I'm tucking them down, but I'm getting close to the motor now with my helmet. I'm out of the wind entirely. All right, now I'm coming back up into the, uh, still at the sheltered area. Uh, it's sheltered by the windshield, but uh, I'll stick my head out uh, now. Now that's the unsheltered. That was the unsheltered. I don't know if you could even hear me with all that racket. So I think I could go at least an inch, maybe two. Those windshields are at least $100 a pop, so. It's, a, it's an expensive inch. Okay, here we are. We're at the top Pine Mountain Summit, 5160. Let's see how this view comes out here. I'm gonna try this. I gotta be careful what I'm doing. Well, let's see. Maybe I'll, I'll just go over here. And just start in the shade. And then I'm gonna kinda try to keep it in the center. I'm gonna make a slow arc with the bike. Now that's uh, pretty much the center of the view. I think I'll move up to the, I'll get, move up, bump up to this guardrail. All right. That is really a nice view. A lot of people stop here. Yeah, it's really pretty. A little cloudy. Mm, Got to bump around, push it back and forward a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty nice. That was pretty darn nice. At least it looked like it was in the uh, viewfinder. All right, so now we're heading down the hill to the fire station. Uh, this is in real good shape. The road's nice and dry. Boy, when, uh, when you get a little weather, boy, this is where it really is snotty. Icy, snow, and all kinds of stuff. Biker hit this uh, rock wall right here, right there. I don't think he uh, went over it. Well, he's not the only one. Hey, a lot 
lot of accidents up here. Nice day. Nice day. Let's see what the temp is. Uh, the temp dropped to uh, 60.9 degrees. It's usually about the chilliest as you come over the top there. Watch out for those rocks. Some of those are about the size of a hardball. They're enough to goof you up pretty darn good. You hit one of those. This is where I went into that uh, two-wheel drift on that big gold ring I had, right in here. It was just all ice and I just slid off the road into that gravel. Just stayed upright. It was all over in a couple of blinks. I just, I just took off again and continued on my way, but boy. Kind of ask yourself, what the hell was that? What did I just do? Oh yeah, it's pretty out here. All the way down this hill, you get a real nice view. And I guess that might be the part of the Kuyama Valley. I'm not sure. Lockwood Valley. Oh, I don't know. That's where one stops and one starts. But you get the idea. Oh yeah, 70 miles an hour. Tacking about four grand. Life is good. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little dirty around this turn here. Ah, it looks pretty nice today. Get a little rock fall around there. After you ride this uh, road, as much as I do especially, you kind of get to know where uh, a lot of the trouble spots are. It's Friday afternoon and usually the old Caltrans boys, they, uh, they usually have it cleaned up pretty well for the weekend. That's when a lot of bikers come out, campers. I might as well run this video down right to the fire station itself. About a half mile ahead. And there it is in the distance. Probably kind of hard to see. Part of it anyway. So. 
I got about three different structures or so. That's not counting the little, uh, the little pissy ones, of course, the little shacks there. That's it. That's it, all the leaves are off the little tree. Ah, uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll shut this off now and give it a rest.